<laughs> we are on the precipice of fall and I am so excited. I am going to explode. I might actually explode. I just love fall and winter and especially this time when we get to pull out all of the fall decor and we get to prep our homes for the season and I love this so much I almost can't stand it. I thought that it would be really fun to talk about some of the decor mistakes that we make in the fall season and I wanted to give you tips and tricks on how to fix them. These are easy fixes guys. It's nothing crazy but they're gonna be really practical and I think they're just going to really get you to start thinking about how you want to decorate your home for the fall and I'm I'm just this oh my gosh I am so excited I almost can't stand it. I can't even talk straight okay breathe <laughs> breathe Okay, so I, as you notice, fall is not here yet. So the fireplace is not going yet. I maybe did put on my little blazer <laughs> from Amazon. I had a little Amazon fall haul. And yes, yeah, so I put on the little fall blazer, but it's still lightweight. Uh, and I have my, my uh, coffee with a little bit of cinnamon added to it. So I'm somewhat there but we're not quite there and that's really important because these tips are going to be really helpful for you as you're planning on how to decorate your home for the fall season so make sure you hit subscribe give the video a big thumbs up because this room is going to have a makeover and so is this entire house every room is going to get touched because i can't wait to apply these tips and tricks to my own home hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. If you are a fan of fall and you are as ready as I am for this time of year to arrive, let me know and uh, let's jump in. We're gonna start with the doozy. Theme decor, especially when it comes to fall, is notoriously everywhere. Fall is here even when the temperatures are still hot outside. We're already thinking about it. And the minute this happens, Pumpkins and ghosts just puke all over the stores. It's pumpkin latte, y'all, and all this stuff. Just literally, it's a vomit of pumpkins everywhere and pumpkin spice, everything. And I am not opposed to pumpkin spice. I actually really enjoy it. I love to drink, uh, you know, cardamom in my coffees and cinnamon, and I, I love all this stuff. But do we really, if we're trying to create an elevated, sophisticated interior in our homes that looks like a designer has touched it, do we really need pumpkins all over every single thing in the entire house? I think that there's a different way of decorating. Part of this came from the fact that when we were living overseas, there was no fall decor. <laughs> so I had to learn how to decorate seasonally. And so I got in the habit of not having theme decor in the home and I learned these other tricks. And then once I had done that, I couldn't go back. It's not that we don't own a few themed things. I, I have some pumpkin terrines that I pull out for Thanksgiving day. I have some ghosts that I pull out for Halloween parties. It's not that I don't have those things. It's just that I don't necessarily have them all over the house. So what do you do if I've taken away your pumpkins and your ghosts and your candy corns? And <laughs> I feel like the Grinch. <laughs> I may actually be the Grinch of fall. <laughs> But the thing is, is that when you take all that stuff away and you start thinking about how you really want, what do you really want your home to feel like? Then you get into this whole other side of decor and I think that it's actually really authentic feeling and it can really feel very warm and inviting and sophisticated and wonderful. And I, I don't miss the pumpkin spice hand towels and the soap pumps and all the little decor items. The number one thing that I do before I ever get started on any design project, any of them, is that I come up with my color palette. Now, if you guys have been a subscriber, you've been hanging around at the House of Valentina for a while, then you probably know that we came up with a color palette for the year for House of Valentina. And those colors have taken us through the entire year. It's pretty epic. But each season, we've focused more on certain aspects of the color palette. And that way, we have a very cohesive look throughout the year, but then we also 
have something that feels seasonally. So we have white on the color palette, we've had linen, we've had velvets, we've had all different kinds of ways in which white is being used, but we've used it in a seasonal way. So I always refer back to my color palette for my home. As far as fall, you're gonna see a lot more of those caramelly colors and the, the really soft off black. And you're gonna see a lot more of that coming into our home. There's still gonna be a lot of that white because I have white walls, so it's definitely part of the, the home vibe that we have. But I'm gonna play up a lot more of the leathers. I'm gonna play up maybe some crocodile leather, kind of crocodile embossed leather, um, some more stone. We're gonna talk about all of that in a minute, but if you want to download my PDF, I give it to you guys for free, and it's something that you can just have and use. Even if you don't want to use my exact color palette, it'll give you an idea of how to get started because once you have your color palette, it makes all of your decision making, I think it probably takes at least 75% of your decision making process out because you already know, is this gonna work? You just know. I just think it's such a great way to really keep yourself focused and know what you really want. And that way, it's like having, putting your destination into ways. Once you put it in and you know where you're going, you can kind of sit back and just kind of keep an eye on it rather than having to panic at every corner and try to understand, do I need this? Do I want this? Will this work? It just helps. Our next tip for today, I wanted to bring you into the bedroom because not only has Brooklyn very kindly sponsored today's video, but they have also very kindly sent me a box of goodies. One of my favorite things to do when it's a transitional period in the year, especially when we hit fall, is to change out my sheets. I think one of the biggest mistakes that we make is to keep our bedding the same year round. And I love luxurious sheets. I'm I've kind of gotten to be a little bit of a snob. I really want to sleep on something that's super soft and super luxurious, but that typically comes with a really high price tag. And that's why I love Brooklinen so much. They launched in Brooklyn in 2014 and they wanted to be a disruptor because they wanted to bring luxurious sheet sets to all of us and cut out the middleman so that we could actually get them at an affordable price. And they've just absolutely nailed it. I love their sheets. So what have I got in my box today? Oh, I've got some good stuff. Okay, so first up, I've got the Lux Core Sheet Set, and I've got these in the cream color. Then I've got the Duvet Cover. This is gonna be so luxurious. I've done a little bit of white and a little bit of cream. I like to mix the colors a little bit. It just adds a little bit of warmth, but then the crispness of the duvet just still feels a little bit hotel-like. Very, very luxe. I love it. Then I've also got a set of the pillowcases in the cream color, and they are beautiful. Then, <laughs> as if that's not enough to totally pamper me, they have also sent me the all-season down comforter. I mean, whoa, <laughs> this is amazing. I'm really excited about this. This has got the, it's 100% Canadian white duck down. It's got a sateen shell and it's hyperallergenic. So um, yeah, I am going to be dressing up my bed. Of course, I'm gonna hook you up with a discount code because you know, that's what we do here at the House of Valentina. So I think you should definitely check these out. Definitely think about upgrading your bed for the fall season. You can get $20 off any order over $100 using the code Valentina20 at checkout. You save 25% when you bundle items rather than clicking on them individually. So in the hardcore set, you would get the core sheet set, you would get the pillowcases and the duvet cover. So saving 25% on all these items and then you also get my coupon code. It really is a great deal and it'll really get you started on a really wonderful luxe fall vibe and just cozy the whole thing up and it's gonna be perfection. So don't forget, check down below for the details and the coupon code. Besides changing out your bedding, there's a lot more things that you can do and there's some really great ways that you can update your space. So one of the biggest mistakes that people make is that they forget about ambiance. And to me, fall, if there's ever a season, <laughs> <laughs> about ambiance. I just feel like fall and winter, yeah, 
It's just the season. And so ambiance is one of those things that you probably already have everything you need in order to create it. It's just about a mindset shift where you really think about actually making your space feel cozy. You're gonna turn on your lamps. You're gonna light a great candle. Uh, right now I've got the candles going in here and it adds ambiance. It adds this sort of feeling in the room. Eventually we'll have the fire going when it's not 100 degrees outside and we're gonna really create this feeling of fall. This will take you probably about 50% of the way to really creating a fall feeling or an autumnal feeling in your space. You don't need a lot of stuff for this. If you don't have enough lamps in your space, this might be a good time to assess what do you have. I always stock up on candles. I stock up on them either from Ikea or from Amazon because I love shopping both places for bulk tea lights. I get the candlesticks. I get a ton of not even fragranced candles. I just like to have a nice stash of inexpensive candles that I can just stick into all my little candle holders and all that kind of stuff. If you don't have candle holders to put those into, now's a great time. Um, I love to look for little tea light holders, candlestick holders. You can even have a nice hurricane glass. I, I love to have, I always have several sets of those because you can use them for flowers, you can use them for candles, and they're just super useful. I'll leave links for all of these items in case you're looking for them. I always leave them down in the show notes. That way, if you're wanting to purchase one of the items or get some inspiration, I have everything linked down below for you. The other thing that you might wanna do is to check out how many lamps you have around your room. Most people underlight their rooms. You need a lot of light and think about how the light moves around the space. I typically don't use overhead lighting unless it's a chandelier or maybe some recessed lighting. So, so instead what I do is I low light the room. I've got table lamps, I've got floor lamps, and I'm lighting the entire space. And I wanna make sure that the entire room is lit, not over lit to where it's glaring, but just it feels ambient all the way around. And maybe once you look at your spaces, you'll realize I need a lamp maybe on the dresser. I need a lamp on the, on the console table. I need a lamp, you know, just sitting back here or something. And you kind of assess your room and see how it's lit. There are some amazing sources out there. I love to shop at CB2. You guys know I have a thing for Ikea lamps, but I think Amazon is another great source. I've been finding all kinds of great stuff there. So again, I'll leave links for everything down below. If you, once you assess, you feel like you need something, you can see some of my personal favorites and check those out and get your space just feeling warm and cozy. Once you take away the themed pumpkins, how do you create something that feels like fall if you don't have something blatant saying, happy fall, y'all? <laughs> well, I think adding a lot of texture will really transform your space at this time of year. It really, it just, feels cozier to have things that are very tactile, that have a lot of texture to them. So what does that even mean? We can add some beautiful blankets. This is one that I've just gotten in with my Amazon fall haul. <laughs> so excited. And I cannot believe that I got this from Amazon because I had one that was very similar to this and I couldn't find any more. It sold out and it was just, it's not coming back. <laughs> And so it was devastated. And now I found a replacement for one of my favorites. And I'm so excited because now I can share the one that I had because I've been hoarding it. But you can add some really nice textured blankets. I try to look for them that have the little fringing on them. Things like the rustic bowl, that transitions really, really well into fall. I've also got some fur. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've bought a lot of fur blankets and the teddy bear blankets from Pottery Barn. And I use them all the time. They are my favorite. But I was trying to find something that was available on Amazon or maybe something that would be a little bit less expensive. So I've been on a hunt for quite some time and I have finally found something that is glorious. This is called Unhide. So there's no animal products here. They are pet friendly. My dog Louie, the minute I sat it on the sofa, literally just like ran and jumped and cuddled down into it. It is wonderful. It's got a really soft velour style backing on it. The fur color is gorgeous and it just is amazing. So 
You think there's so many different textures to think about. You can add concrete, you can add wood. Oh man, all my wicker baskets are gonna be making a comeback. I can't wait to get them all out. Wicker just looks amazing at this time of year. And you can fill it with things. Typically what I'll do is we'll go on nature walks. I've got a pine tree that always gives me uh, pine cones this time of year. You can order them off of Amazon. You can fill your baskets with things that are natural rather than trying to fill them with things that are less natural, like, I don't know, pump, pumpkin themed things or, or plastic pumpkins. And then when you have some real pumpkins and you get to go to the pumpkin patch, then you can have them in a bowl. Bring things in that are really seasonal and feel relevant and just bring a lot of texture into the space and it will really give you a massive feeling of fall. You might already have all the tools that you need in order to create this vibe and that's the best part of it. And then once you have them, you can just pull them out every season. So one of the other things that I like to do is I like to add pattern rather than pumpkins. So I think it's a big mistake to forget about pattern at this time of year. Pattern can tell the eye a very big story. So what kind of patterns do we typically use in the fall? Well, I think about like a, a plaid jacket, a little blazer. I think about wool blazers. I think about coats. I think about, um, I think about stripes. Certain stripes are amazing in the fall season. I also love some chevrons. You can even use some animal prints. I think some zebras and some cheetah print just look amazing in the fall season, especially when you pair them with some velvets or some boucle. If you add in the fur and you can see how they give off a warmer vibe, even though I've been using them all summer, it's really all about how you mix your textures and your patterns and the candlelight and of course, the other thing that we have to talk about is the greenery. And that's a pretty big deal because a lot of times that's where we really feel a little bit hung up on how to transition what's in our vases for the season and that's a pretty big deal. Most people at this time of year bring in a lot of faux foliage and for me, it just feels too fake. I love if something is naturally occurring and it's changed to maybe bring a branch into my home, but generally that's not something that you could bring in all the time and it's not gonna necessarily last either. So I think looking at some dried options can really help you to get that fall feeling in your home and these are ones that won't break the bank. There's a lot of great places. I really like to look at Pottery Barn this time of year for a lot of their fo foliage and particularly their dried because, and then, and then, I've also got items that I have found from Amazon because I was trying to see if I could find something that would be a little bit less expensive because Pottery Barn is beautiful and most of the stuff that they have just works. However, it can get a little bit expensive. So I was looking for some less expensive options and I have this entire bucket full of beautiful fall foliage that's all dried. And so this is going to really last. It doesn't look fake at all because it's, it's got a more authentic feeling to it. I tend to look at things that are maybe like have a berry look because I feel like these are easier to fake than a leaf. A leaf that's changing colors, I don't know. Maybe one day I will find a faux that I really love, but I've been looking and I haven't found it yet. So instead I just prefer to do some like these that are the little berries and then you've got the wheat. And I think that these tend to just give off a little bit more of that really ni nice fall vibe. They give you a lot of texture, they give you a lot of warmth, and they're bringing in these sort of warm tones into your space. And so you can take a vase like this, which during the summer I had lots of greens and big tree branches, and then in the fall we're gonna fill it with some things that just have that sort of natural fall feeling. So take your vases, you don't have to go out and buy new ones. Um, if you're looking for some vases, I always give suggestions on my Amazon storefront. I have a ton that I've actually brought into my own home, I've held and made sure because a lot of times I order stuff Amazon, a lot of times I order stuff off Amazon and I'm like, no, that has to go back. So if you watch my live events, those are items that I've actually brought into my home and I'm using in my own home or my client's homes. And that way I've kind of weeded out all the stuff and you can feel a lot more confident ordering from there. The final thing that I think is so important that we cannot forget about is 
fragrance. So I kind of have a little bit of a transitional period. You can feel it right now in my home as it is. I've got the lavender balsam candle from Anthropology, and they always have the best candles. And I'm always like, ah, oh, they're kind of expensive, but I just feel like you just get so much for your money from their candles. They just do such a good job. This one is so nice because it really is transitioning us for the seasons. A lot of times people make the mistake of not transitioning their fragrance and that is a huge mistake that you're making in the fall season because fragrance is everything. <laughs> fragrance is, is, it's everything. It's so important. It really just is that final piece that it's like the sniff test. It really is, does this pass the sniff test? Is this real fall? But as the season progresses, I'm sure that I will be getting more fall feelings through the candles. I love to look at things like balsam and cedar, and I love things that have maybe some cloves in it and adding bergamot and some of those fragrances that just have that sort of fall feeling. I even like some of the ones that are like fireside and have that kind of fragrance to them. I think avoiding the synthetic like plugins and stuff like that, those just always feel a little bit they always, to me, they just give me a headache because they just feel almost too synthetic and they don't feel quite right. I think anthropology is a great place to look. The other place I like to look is candlefish. And um, yeah, I'll leave you a list down below of my favorite candles because candles are a pretty big deal. And I just really geek out over which ones I use because I just think that that really is that final piece and it's really important. So I hope these little tips and tricks have gotten you excited about the fall season. I'm about to burst. I've got boots sitting here and sweaters and I am ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. So make sure you hit subscribe so you do not miss out on the upcoming hauls. I'm going to show you what I'm buying and I'm going to show you the room being transformed. Our bed is getting a nice transformation and the entire house is going to feel fall ready and I cannot wait. So make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and let me know down in the description box. What is your favorite part of the autumn season? What is the thing that you love the most? And let me know what kind of tips and tricks that you have for your home that you really like to use. For me, this is how I create my home for the new seasons and it just really is something that I just really love and I wanted to be able to share that with you today. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.